navigation is working fine and I have already updated the code. So this is the old code we have written. So like if I take you to the server file, this is what exactly you will have if you will follow the entire code, the tutorial. So I hope I would encourage you to come and follow this. Once you follow this entire project, this is the entire code you will have and you have to come back to the server file. If you come back to the server file, you will notice that this is all the configuration we have done in the project, all the configuration. So you don't need to do any changes. All you have to do is to change this particular model name. So right now, this particular model we used, but instead of that, we have to use this model this model. So all you have to do is to change the model name and you have to also upgrade the OpenAI version. So if I show you the packages.json file in this, we have used this particular version, but we have to use the upgraded version because in that we have a special function, which we go to utilize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply cut that. I'm going to simply close that one. I'm going to open this one. So in this, I have provided the updated code for all of you guys. So when you will download the spinal code in that you will have and you can simply do this modification in your old code base. It will work absolutely fine. So come back here in the server file. Make sure you have to delete this node module and you have to install this particular version. So earlier we use this three, this three, but now you have to use this 4.26.0. 4 so this particular version you have to use from OpenAI. So once you change this one, now you have to come back to your server file. And here we have written the entire piece of code. So this is my key. Again, I have explained in the project that how you can get it. So make sure you have to get your own key and you have to check the limit that whether you have the limit or not, what the credit they are offering for the free account. But this is my paid one because I have used. So I have for this particular video, I have to take a small plan and I got my key and that's why I'm explaining. So don't need to do any changes. All you have to do is to replace your key. Now you have to come back here. And this is the exact thing we have here. All I have done, I have changed the model name. So I'm using chat GTP 3.5 turbo instruct. You have to simply remove this particular model and here you have to do the changes. So here we have open and this particular method is only available in the latest version of OpenAI package, not in the old one. So if I simply just do this, so I not lost this page. And if I come back to my server file, you will find that here we are using the different method create, but in this we are using this completion dot create. So these are the changes you have to do again. Here you have to simply do this change. And if I take you up here, this is fine. This is fine. Again, pause the video and make this replacement in your server file because all the replacement you have to make in the server file. So these are the packages we're installing. This is the config file. Here you have to provide your API key. There is a change here as well. So if I take you back to the server file here, you will notice that here we have used different method. We have used this new configuration, new configuration, but in the updated version of OpenAI, we're not going to do that kind of configuration. So we all have to do is to use this OpenAI model and we have to pass our private key. And that's the only thing you have to do. You don't need to do this configuration. Then you have to create the configuration object and then you have to pass. Don't need to do that. This particular package make things so simple and change this one. Then this is the, our express and here we have our open AI get method. So I have changed this one to get like in this, we have used on the main directory means our domain. So for making the difference, I just created this get. Now, once you're done with that, this is the chat where we're going to make the post requests. So it will send us the response from the open AI and we can display in our front end. So this is the chat I have called. Make sure you have to keep it exactly as it is. This is the change you have to do here. You have to change the model name and this is fine. And same thing, we are sending the response back. So this time we have to make this change called response.choice. We have to get the text. If you come back here, here we have following the different model. So we have this data choice and text. So we have to get it from here, not from data. And that's what we have done here. So this is the second change you have to do and this is fine. And this time I'm running my server on 4000. So make sure to do all of these changes in the code base and you are ready to utilize this particular application. So once you're done with that, I'm going to simply close all of this. Now what I will do is, so we have done with the changes in the server file. And I believe that you know that what are the changes you have to do in the server file. So once you're done with the changes in the server file, now you have to go back to the front end. So we have to go into the public because in that we have our script. 
So this is a script we have coded in the project. You don't need to do anything in here. This is absolutely fine. This is fine. This is also good. And this is fine. Don't need to do any changes like we are getting the information. And when we are calling the reset, all you have to do is to simply call this particular endpoint. In this, we are sending the post request and it's going to give us the like messages which we'll get from the chat GDP. And that's what we have defined in our server file. Like that's what we have defined in our server file. So if I come back here, you can see that's what we have here, chat. And that's what we have defined. So this is the few changes you have to make. Like this is the changes you have to make and everything is working fine. That's the only thing. Now I'm going to start the application. So first let me close this one and I'm going to run this particular one. So open up your terminal. I'm already running my, so let me show you from beginning. I'm going to simply close this one, close this one and close this, open up your terminal. Now we are on the main directory. Once you will download the final source code, you will have this two folder. So first you have to get into this particular one. I will simply copy this one and let's call this CD paste here. So I'm into this particular directory. Now I have to split my terminal and I'm going to start my server file. So I'm going to start the server. So make sure to start the server first. So I'll say npm run server server because that's what we have called here server and hit enter. It will start the server. Okay, something's wrong. And I know what I have done. So simply clear my terminal. Now I have to get into the server folder. So I'm into this main directory. I have to get into the server folder. As a CD server, I'm into the server folder. Now I can start the server. And here our server is running on localhost 4000. I'm going to come here and I'm going to save it and will reload my server because we are using Nodemon. And I believe that you guys know what is Nodemon what is node because whenever you do any changes and save your application is going to restart your server and this one is very important when you are into the development but when you will go in production you have to change this to node so our server is running fine now we have to run our front end so i'll come back here and i can simply start my front end i'll say npm run dev and here our application got started our application got started and I can simply come back here. I can go particular version of OpenAI in your server file and you have to do the changes which I have explained. And one more thing I want to tell you that in this particular project, we are using hard hat, hard hat. So I'm using hard hat and this particular solidity version. So if you have the fact type node, and if I come back to the node applications, no matter which one you are using, you are a window user or a Mac user, if you have the 20 node, so hardhead will not work because right now hardhead is not compatible with node 20 or node 90. It's compatible with this specific version. So I'll simply close this one and I'm going to simply clear my terminal and I'm going to bring it up and I have to check my node version. So let me get into main directory. So I'm into the main directory. So the very first thing you have to do when you start building this particular project, this one, first you have to check your node version and you have to make sure you have to have the same node version which I have. So simply type node node dash v. You have to use this particular node version if you want to use hard hat in your project. Or if you don't want to use hard hat, you can definitely skip that. Make sure to create the contract folder in that you have to write the entire contract which we have written in the project like entire smart contract and you can use any test network for deploying your contract. So you can use a Remix ID, you can deploy your contract to Polygon and you can get the API from there. And then you can simply create a file like this. And in that you have to simply paste the API of your contract. There is multiple way which you can use to create your API. So once you paste your API here, then you have to simply provide your address of the contract which you have deployed. So if you have deployed to the Polygon, Come back here and here you have to provide the address of your contract. So in this particular project, we are doing testing on the local host because we are using hard hat. But in case if you don't want to downgrade your node version to this in and if you have the 20, but it would be better. I would suggest you to use this particular node version in your system and then build this particular project and everything would be working fine. So make sure to check your node version because this one is only compatible with hard hat. So now you have to also check the NPM version. So I have NPM dash V and this is the version I'm using for NPM. So this two version is very important if you want to use the hard hat in your project. Then you can simply 
start working on the project. So again, I would in the course section and simply scroll all the way down. And here we have this chat GTP. And here I have attached this particular video. So make sure to follow this exact video in that I have done all the setups which you need to done to run this particular application. But before you do the testing, make sure you have to use the exact version and you have to follow the exact step which I have explained in this video. So the application would be working absolutely fine. So I believe that now you have got an idea that how you can execute this application. What are the changes you need to done if you have coded this entire project and the final code is all, already is given to all of you guys. So you can simply come here. You can download the startup file. You can download the final code if you wish. So make sure to download release this particular course. This one, this will teach you every single thing which you have to know about the blockchain development and what are the technology you have to master. So come here and check this out. That would be great. You hope you guys have got an idea that what are the changes you need to be done in the code base to make it compatible with the latest version of OpenAI and the latest version of Node and the latest version of chat model. So that's the only thing for now. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.